If you've heard Dan and Pat talk, big industry picture, the value of AI, the value of all of this accelerated compute, and you think to yourself, how do you actually make that happen? We're having those conversations here at Supercompute 2024. I have with me, Saru, and John, John from Hot Owl, yeah. and you from Dale. Dell Technologies, thank you for, uh, for having us here. Good to be here, and so much action going on in AI. It is a lot of action going on in AI, and you guys have a huge truck on the show floor, the AI factory. We'll get into the AI factory, the concept. You have an actual mobile version of it, and we'll get into both in a second. But Hot Isle, I got to love the name first, John. Thank you so much. Yeah, uh, good morning. Talk to us about, one, where did it come from, and what do you do? Yeah, so um, kind of just came to me after probably like a month of searching for names. You know, you Google all over the internet and you, you have to, everybody squatted all the good names, right? Mm -hmm. And so one day I was just like thinking about what's, what is cool things in a data center? Cause I'm building a data center company. So, you know, what are, what's nice in there? And I was like, oh, hot aisle, that's so great. And so, yeah, it ended up, it was available, registered it and yeah, it came out to be a great name. So. And, and what do you, what do you folks do? So yeah, we are a cloud service provider. On one, on one side of the business is a cloud service provider. We deploy GPU compute, top end, best in class. Everything is uh, you know, set up in a way to not only de-risk our business, but de-risk our customers as well. And then what we do is we take that as a blueprint and we deploy it for companies that want to deploy their own supercomputers. So, Saru, Dell and a cloud service provider, I thought you were a private infrastructure company. <laughs> what, what's going on with this relationship? Well, the world of AI, we have a concept called Dell AI Factory, and the you know, concept is to champion you know, customers like John uh, to, to simplify AI infrastructure. And what we're doing with AI Factory is you know, we're bringing the marriage of products from compute storage and networking packaged together under open architectures where you have choice of GPU and choice of NIC and choice of AI connectivity all packaged together and delivered with Dell, you know, services and capabilities to simplify AI rollout. So, so that's the concept and uh, we're seeing a lot of success with that. AI is evolving very quickly, a lot of new technologies coming in. It's great to see all of these in action at, uh, at Hot Isle. Yeah, so we work with Dell Technologies to do these deployments and they enable us to have access to any equipment that our customers are asking us for. So we have a ride, right now we're focused on AMD GPUs, but we can deploy any type of GPU. And as long as it is best in class and latest and greatest, we can work with our partners, Dell Technologies, and get it done. And so this moves fast for customers. I have to imagine it all moves extremely fast yeah. for uh, for service providers, so tell me the importance of the Dell relationship and open standards. Right, so it allows us to, this like very close partnership, our, our business model is to always be deploying the latest and greatest. So by working with Dell, we can always get access to that because they have the relationships with AMD and Intel and Nvidia and all these companies, all these other big companies that enables us to quickly deploy compute. And as long as we're deploying the latest and greatest, developers who want to use our systems can then get access to the latest and greatest. So right now, a lot of companies really focus on HPC compute, like the big supercomputers, El Capitan, Frontier. Those systems are amazing systems. Yeah, like, they are. I can't wait to deploy in El Capitan <laughs> myself. Um, but the problem with these systems is that they're really locked up. There's only a very small amount of developers who can get access to them today. So we're working on democratizing compute, enabling anyone to get access to super level, super computer level of compute, but just as like an hourly rental. And when I started this business, nobody was doing this really. It was kind of like, I mean, we had like the hyperscaler level of compute, but not the stuff that we're doing, which gives developers even low level access to the hardware. We, we allow developers access to the BIOS and they can really configure the machine and tune it to their needs and their applications. So what type of developer or, or what's the typical use case 
for a hot owl service? Yeah, so we have, we, we basically, because we're only buying the latest and greatest and we deploy like the top, top end, we, everybody like, they don't have an excuse not to use us, right? <laughs> because they can't get any better than that. So it's really any use case. It's HPC, AI. Um, we have, uh, we want to do computational fluid dynamics. AMD GPUs are extremely good at floating point 64. So they can, they can do any wide range of um, computation. And then AI, of course, right? Because that's the big hot thing today. So, you know, these GPUs can really um, be used for anything. And, and I think that by giving access to developers in a very democratized way and a wider range, people will start to invent new things. Like, I mean, just a few years ago, nobody was really talking about AI the way we're talking about it today. Who knows what, in another couple of years, people are gonna be building. So, Sarit, the AI factory, the Dell right. AI factory, it has to be pretty extensible to support customers like Hot Owl. Right. And I've talked to many enterprise cu customers that have adopted it. How are you able to have such flexibility in a design that is uh, supporting HPC use cases right. and traditional AI use cases true, in enterprise? True. Yeah, I mean, you know, we're talking to all spectrum of customers from GPU farms and AI factories, which are super large clusters. And these are thousands of GPUs, you know, that are put together to build these supercomputers to all the way enterprises who are now getting onto the AI bandwagon and, and looking at more fine tuning and inferencing based, you know, use cases. So how we are approaching this is create a choice of GPUs, you know, with AMD, NVIDIA and Intel, then we have choice of, you know, NIC and, and connectivity. And we are also championing a lot of Ethernet technologies, right? Enterprises have been, you know, using Ethernet forever. And Ethernet, yes, you know, it, it is now getting ready for AI use cases. There's a lot of optimization that has come from an AI perspective. We see all these high rating switching now from 400 gig to 800 gig. We're working with our partners, NVIDIA and Broadcom, to provide these Ethernet-based technologies. And we're championing that with open standards. So Sonic is software for open networking the cloud. It's an open source network operating system. And we are extending this technology, which is running one of the large, you know, some of the largest hyperscaler ecosystems to now enterprises. So adding tons of feature set, putting support models around it, and then also bringing a lot of supply chain and services, you know, efficiency into the system to, to cater to the customers because delivering the technology is as important as the technology itself, right? So. So bringing all of that together under the Dell umbrella, under the layout factory, and putting validated solutions and architectures around it so that it's wash, rinse, and repeat, and plug and play for enterprises to take these best practices and move faster than AI. So John, sorry, just mentioned a couple of things that kind of got my network engineer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I heard, a, I, heard a, I heard a few things too. Yeah, yeah that, so that you know, one of which excited. is Sonic. Yeah, Sonic. Uh, are, are you folks using Sonic Absolutely. in your data? Absolutely, yeah, so we love Sonic. We, I, my background is open source. I started the, or co-founded the uh, Java at Apache project. So I was one of the first people to bring Java to the server. And so my having that open source background and Sonic being open source, it's just a fantastic product. And we, we can work with it to uh, automate our deployments. So our customers, when we onboard a customer, we just run a script that you know segments the network, sets up the machine, and the customer can be onboarded in 30 minutes. So how important is an idea like Sonic, this open source network operating system, to an idea such as the AI factory and this open approach to AI? Yeah, so we actually, we use the enterprise version of Sonic from Dell on our uh, Z9864, Switch, oh, I love model like, numbers. Yeah, I know, that's when you like, know. That's when you know, know you, you have the CTO advisor on the set. When, you, when we get model numbers, yeah. But please, I'm a CTO, but I'm also very technical. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. So we run the enterprise version of Sonic on there, and we love it. I mean, it's just a fantastic product. It works, and that's like doesn't give us any trouble, right? So as long as it's moving us forward in a in a clear path. Like, it's a pleasure to work with. Right. It has all the features that we need. And, and John mentioned, right, I mean, the 
the one of the big advantage with Sonic is right. It's very API centric. Right? Anything and everything in the box can be exposed out to to any application that the user is, is using. In house tools, open source technologies, enterprise applications. It provides you streaming telemetry. So in the world of AI, where you know moving a lot of data, you know across, so you're reducing number of flows, but those are elephant flows now. So automation and telemetry are extremely important. Right, you're running these these products or solutions at highest capacity, you know, training workloads for weeks and fine tuning and inferencing. So having deep understanding or deep, you know, insights into the solutions really helps you to be better prepared and deliver better. So one of the other big things ha themes happening at the show has been talent. There is a massive shortage of talent from right. a both enterprise service provider and even big companies training LLMs. How is Dell's AI factory mm -hmm. in Hotel helping to solve right. or alleviate some of this challenge? We'll start first with Dell. Yeah, no, uh, so as part of the Dell AI factory offering, we also have a big umbrella of services, right? And that service is while we provide 24 by seven support on products and solutions, we also provide consulting services, solution architectures, threads and C services and things like that. And our objective here is to provide subject matter expertise, right? AI is evolving very quickly and we are working with our partners and customers very closely to be aware of their requirements and also with partners to make sure that, you know, we have, you know, an understanding of what's coming next and we provide those capabilities and get the systems ready with, with services capabilities and also with trainings and, and education services offerings to, to make sure that we spread the knowledge and get the community along with us. And that's actually one of the benefits of Hot Isle is that we have these partnerships with companies like Dell Technologies, AMD, Broadcom, where we can uh, rely on them for help, right? Like these are, these are the experts, so we're using their equipment and we can pass that, we, we can get feedback from the developers and create a developer flywheel where the developers giving us feedback, we give it back to AMD or Dell or Broadcom, and then Broadcom makes changes which improve their products, which then encourage developers to write more code for these products, and then we just keep this flywheel going where we're buying more and more and more because we're getting more developers on our systems. So it's a really good like circular ecosystem that we're building here at Hot Isle. So, Sari, Dell has this fancy two-trailer AI factory set up in a, mm -hmm. and on the show floor. I think this is city number 38 of a 44 <laughs> city tour. I've talked to that team. They're, you know, they're energized, but, I, I you know, I got to tell you, that's, that's a pretty aggressive schedule, two right. cities uh, uh, a week. What should customers expect to see when they mm -hmm. visit the Dell AI factory, whether they're yeah. whether we're talking about the truck in the EBC or one of your partners, what what, yeah. what, what will they see? So um, AI is is influencing you know every spectrum of the customer, every domain. So we have brought in AI from our PCs to infrastructures and data center technologies, and and we demonstrate all of that on the truck. Right. The goal here is to simplify. AI rollout, make, you know, workforce productivity, efficiency, you know, bring new revenue streams and things like that. So you see all of those in different, you know, products and solutions from, from the PCs to, you know, compute storage, networking, and much beyond than that, right? And what we're also kind of, you know, working on is what's next for AI, right? We're yeah. looking at these these big machines, you know, and, and you know, these are power hungry devices. So how to make sure that liquid cooling and, and the next set of technologies are in place. So this is an opportunity for us to, to demonstrate what's on the truck, but also engage with the users to better understand what, what would like to see more. So, and, and engage on conversation on the future of these solutions that we're working on. Uh, I'd like to thank both of you for stopping by 6.5 on the road. You've heard it here. We have semi trucks. We have Hot Al using AMD, NVIDIA, all the latest and greatest technologies. We're listening to how Dell is enabling their ecosystem of partners, customers with their AI factories. We're going to continue the conversation. Me and my co-host Dave Nicholson will be here all day interviewing Dell, Dell's partners, Dell's customers to help you better understand how you take these executive level initiatives, bring them down to the technology level and securely implement these solutions. Stay tuned for more coverage from Supercompute.
2024 in Atlanta, Georgia.